Hello everybody and welcome to another episode in um, introduction to scripting for Roblox. And again, I already have my script open. Hopefully you guys by now know how to create a script in server script service. We've done it like almost a ton of times. So I trust that you guys know how to do it and I just did it from the get go. In fact, I actually never removed it from the last video. So we're going to clear the output. There we go. Okay. Um, in this episode, we're going to go over code blocks a little bit more. And the code block, as I kind of touched on two videos ago, was it's a block of code. It's literally like a piece of code, several lines typically, um, which will only be run in certain circumstances and can sometimes, depending upon the type of code block or how the code block is like put into a block, um, be run multiple times. Okay, so. We've already experienced code blocks to a degree with if statements, right? So an if statement we would put like if true then and then print hi, print hello, and then this would run if and only if the conditional statement returned true. Now another thing I think I went over, I might not have, but if true then and let's go, excuse me, um, hiccups, um, if print hi or if true then print hi else print by so like if it's true then it's going to print hi but if it's false then else so if this like I don't know if I did taught this already but if I didn't let's go over even if I did let's go over a um, quick thing here so if your friend likes a certain flavor of soda or pop um, whichever you call it, it doesn't matter. So if your friend likes a certain flavor of soda, then you give that to him, else give him water, right? Okay, so if he likes, if your friend likes this thing to drink and you, like, if your friend likes this and you have it, then give him this, else go to default and just give him water. Another thing you can do is, else if true, then print hello so else if is literally like okay if the above thing isn't true then what if this is true so if your friend likes pop then give him pop and if your friend likes oh but if he doesn't like pop then if he likes juice give him juice if he doesn't like either of those then we're still going to give him water so let's actually do that so if friend likes pop then print giving pop if friend likes juice print giving juice else giving water right okay so if your friend likes pop give them pop if your friend likes juice give them juice otherwise give them water and the th cool thing about else ifs is if you can have as many else ifs as you want so you, we could do if friend doesn't like pop and friend doesn't like juice then what if friend likes flavored water then print giving flavored water right and you can have a billion a trillion it might be really really slow and a terrible script but you could have numerous else ifs between one if and an optional else okay so the if has to be there first there can only be one if per set of if else ifs else okay there can only be one and there has to be at least one then you can have an optional number of else ifs. You don't have to have a single else if, you don't have to have any of them, but you can also have as many of them as you want. And then in else, you can either have one or none. There's no like two else's per if, you can't do that. Um, but you can optionally have one, right? You can have a max of one, or a minimum of zero. Obviously, you can't have a negative number. That doesn't even make sense. But you don't have to have an else. But if you do need an else, you can have one. Not multiple like else ifs. Else ifs are multiple. You can only have one else. And the else doesn't happen only in reference to this if. The else happens if and only if the if and all other else ifs fail. Okay, so if this isn't true but this is, the else is not going to run. If all three of these aren't true, then the else will run. And the 
Other thing is, if your friend likes pop, he likes juice, and he likes flavored water, well, only this if is going to run, okay? Only this one. And if your friend doesn't like pop, but he likes juice and flavored water, we're going to give him juice because that's higher up. So it goes in order of importance by order, literally. So like chronological order. This takes the most important, second most, third most, and this is in case nothing else happens. We could even remove this, and then if none of these are true, your friend doesn't get anything to drink because they're apparently too picky, okay? So that's a little bit more on code blocks. I haven't even really gotten to what I wanted to teach in this tutorial yet, but the thing I wanted to teach was going to be long enough as it was, so actually we're going to get into that in the next video. Um... So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please like it, etc., etc. I'm not even going to keep saying this in all of the videos because, frankly, I've got better things to say. So, again, hopefully you guys like this video, and I'll see you next time.